Look at that. Nice and fluffy. Hello and welcome to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today I'm going to show you how to make a chocolate mug cake in the microwave, start to finish. This is done in under about five minutes. So awesome, super easy to do. If I can do it, you can do it. Before I move on, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. Let's get started. Down below in the description box, you'll find a list of the ingredients and their amounts. Now this mug cake is perfect if you just want to make a one serving cake just for yourself or maybe just for two people, super fast and easy. It's great because you don't have to make this whole giant cake and be tempted to eat it all. <laughs> and it's just done so quickly in the microwave. All right, now if you want a classic cake, check out my YouTube channel here. I have tons of different recipes for normal cakes baked in the oven, but this one is done in the microwave, okay? And you can use a cake mix. I have an older version of this video where I use a cake mix, and I'm gonna show you how to do it from scratch. So, begin. Take a nice mug, and I have three tablespoons of all-purpose flour, or you could use cake flour. Three tablespoons of sugar. Now this one serving cake, it's not overly sweet, I don't think, but if you want to reduce the sugar, you can reduce the sugar by, to two tablespoons. Um, but just try it like this first before you start messing around with the recipe. And then I'm going to do four teaspoons of unsweetened cocoa powder, about an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, or just a pinch of salt, and then one fourth teaspoon of baking powder. And then I'm just going to take a fork. I'm really going to give this a good little mix here. And this is going to break up any clumps that you might have with that cocoa powder. All right, and now three tablespoons of water. I'm using filtered water. You can use um, tap water, any kind of water that you want. You can also use milk or a combination of the two, like two tablespoons of milk, one tablespoon of water, etc. You could use almond milk if you want. And then one tablespoon of oil. You really want some kind of oil in here because it helps the, the cake not dry out. Um, but you can use, instead of oil, you could use like a tablespoon of sour cream, a tablespoon of yogurt, like Greek yogurt, or a tablespoon of applesauce. Also, a tablespoon of mashed banana. Any one of those will work great instead of the oil, or you could also add them in addition to the oil. A lot of different things you can try with this basic recipe. And then come back in with the fork, and let's give this a good mix. And then also, if you wanted to, if you are a coffee drinker, you could use three tablespoons of coffee instead of that water. And that'll help bring out the chocolate flavor. I am not a coffee drinker, so I never have coffee on hand. Into the microwave it goes. In my microwave, a minute 30 is perfect, but mine's a 1200 watt microwave. So if you have a lower wattage microwave, you might need to do it for a little bit longer, like one minute 45, even two minutes. Okay, so in the microwave it goes, again, a minute 30, depending on your microwave, and then it'll be done, ready to go. Simple as that. And when it comes out of the microwave, it'll look something like this. Just one thing I wanted to make sure to mention is make sure that your mug, or if you use a bowl, you can use a bowl as well, make sure it's microwave safe. And then if you poke it with a toothpick, the toothpick should come out clean, just like that, super clean, ready to go, awesome. And now I don't normally put frosting on the top of my mug cakes, you certainly can, but what I do like to do is take a little bit of powdered sugar. And just put it on top, just like that. Awesome. Well, there we go. Chocolate mug cake done in under five minutes. It's a perfect quick little treat if you're craving like chocolate cake and you don't wanna bake a whole cake. Now let me dive into this and show you what it looks like. Look at that, nice and fluffy. Yeah. Mmm, mm mmm, mmm. It is really good for how simple it is. 
Once again, my name is Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or requests, put them down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Take care. Time for me to dive into this some more. Yeah. Mm-hmm.